A teacher who was shot and survived the shooting in Uvalde, Texas, that killed 19 students and two teachers, speaks to ABC News about what it was like inside that classroom. Here's ABC's Rena Roy. Two weeks after the second deadliest elementary school shooting in U.S. history, Arnulfo Reyes, who survived the Uvalde massacre, telling his story from the hospital. And I said, if I die, don't let it be in vain. The fourth grade teacher was watching a movie with 11 of his students when the gunman opened fire. All 11 kids died. Reyes was shot multiple times. You thought you were going to die? Yes, ma'am. The 17-year teacher veteran heard police nearby and a child in the connecting classroom calling out for help. Saying, officer, we're in here, we're in here. But they had already left and then he got up from, from my, behind my desk and he walked over there and he shot over there again. The gunman was in the school for 77 minutes before Border Patrol agents took him down. You're supposed to protect and serve. There is no excuse for their actions, and I will never forgive them. The Texas Department of Public Safety and Robb Elementary officials have not responded for comment. This as calls for gun control legislation echo across the country. Dr. Roy Guerrero is a pediatrician who helped out at the hospital the day of the shooting. To the degree of, 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 uh, of wounds that I saw that day on these tiny children, no, there's no need for anyone to have assault weapons. Bipartisan talks on gun reform continue, senators hoping to reach a deal by the end of the week. Actor Matthew McConaughey, a Uvalde native, calling for restricted access to guns. This should not be a partisan issue. There is not a Democratic or Republican value in one single act of these shooters. Can both sides see beyond the political problem at hand and admit that we have a life preservation problem on our hands? The families of four children who were injured in the shooting have sued the gunman's estate. The attorney who filed the lawsuit now investigating how the gunman purchased his guns and ammunition and law enforcement's response. Rena Roy, ABC News, New York.